Back on Jersey Shore, Snooki and JWoww weren't exactly known for being responsible, but they've grown up a lot since then, and both have families of their own. We'll let you know about some of the strict rules that their kids are required to follow. But first, make sure you click subscribe to get more videos from The Taco. Let's get started. Paparazzi Many celebrities have strong feelings about their families being in front of the camera. Many child advocates believe that there aren't enough regulations to protect kids from the paparazzi. So how do Snooki and JWoww feel about their kids being in the spotlight? It might surprise you to know that they are both very firmly against it. Snooki claims that she wants her children to grow up as normal as possible and doesn't want them to become used to having a camera in their faces. JWoww and Snooki may love being in the spotlight, but those are choices that they made as adults, and they want to wait until their kids are old enough to choose as well. Many child advocates believe that there should be rules in place to protect celebrity children from this, and it seems like the cast of Jersey Shore agrees. Reality TV Clearly, being reality TV stars has worked out really well for Snooki and JWoww, but both of these moms hope that their kids don't follow in their footsteps in this regard. Snooki claims that she would love to do more reality TV, but wouldn't want to expose her kids to that lifestyle. JWoww hopes that her kids pursue more traditional lifestyles and goals than she did. She has dreams of her kids attending and graduating from college and being normal members of society. But regardless, both moms agree that they want their children to follow their dreams and passions in life. They just hope that doesn't involve reality TV. Part of the benefit of keeping the paparazzi away from their kids is that being in front of the camera won't be normalized for them. They hope that this will inspire their kids to reach for more in the future. Actually, both Snooki and JWoww believe that reality TV will go out of style within the next 15 years. Dating Snooki and JWoww may be BFFs on Jersey Shore, but their friendship doesn't end when the cameras stop rolling. The two admit to texting and talking constantly throughout the day. As a result, naturally their families are close to one another, and that includes their kids. Snooki has two children, Giovanna and Lorenzo, and JWoww has two, Melanie and Grayson. You might expect Snooki and JWoww to already be planning their kids' future weddings to one another, but the moms say that won't be happening. Their kids are so close that they're pretty much like cousins. Their moms agreed that it would be way too weird if they decided to date one another in the future. Plus, it would make family get-togethers really awkward if the kids went through a bad breakup. Dress to impress when we see Snooki and JWoww on television, they always seem to be dressed to the nines. But according to Snooki, that's a special occasion where they doll up because it's their jobs. On a busy day-to-day -day basis, Snooki says that she's lucky if she has time to brush her teeth. Like many busy moms, JWoww admits that she barely has time to shower on most days, let alone get camera ready. But when it comes to their kids, they're expected to be dressed up in cute outfits, even if mom is wearing a sweatsuit. Part of being a mom is putting your kids first, and for Snooki and JWoww, that extends to getting dressed up. Snooki claims that being on television is kind of nice because it gives her an excuse to dress up and feel girly. Reality We already know that Snooki and JWoww don't want their kids to end up on reality shows themselves. But what about when it comes to watching their mothers during their time on Jersey Shore? Apparently, they'd prefer if their kids just pretend the whole Jersey Shore thing didn't happen. Snooki claims that she respects the show for paying for her children's future college educations, but that doesn't mean they have to watch it. JWoww wants to put that discussion off for as long as possible. The kids are pretty young still, so they probably don't have to worry about them watching their reality show. Missing Mom as we're sure you know, Snooki and JWoww are back to work filming reality television. But what does this mean for the kids they left behind with their fathers? The kids are still required to check in with mom and stay in contact. Of course, for most kids, this means sending text messages or talking to mom on the phone. But when it comes to Snooki and JWoww, things are a little bit different. When JWoww was away filming, her husband, Rogers Matthews, decided to do some filming of his own. He had his kids dress up and perform what he calls the Miss You Mommy dance. Her kids might be privileged, but they have to earn their keep in their own ways. But don't worry, Roger isn't too proud to bust a few moves himself out of devotion to JWoww. Sleeping Arrangements 
Bedtime can be a challenge for any parent, but JWoww has a very strict rule for where her kids sleep. She and her husband believe in co-sleeping, meaning that the kids go to bed with mom and dad at night. Although she firmly believes in this parenting rule, she admits that it presents a challenge in her marriage. It's hard to get alone time with your husband when your kids sleep with you every night. Snooki is also a fan of co-sleeping with her kids, but she has her own struggles in this regard. She doesn't believe in restricting fluids to her kids and often wakes up to a rather wet surprise in the middle of the night. Snooki admits that sometimes she is too lazy to immediately address the issue at the time, so she just takes care of it in the morning. Don't judge. Both Snooki and Jay Wow are pretty used to being judged for just about every single thing they do. That extends to their parenting as well. But they both do their best to not be brought down by what other people think. Because they're often on the receiving end of harsh opinions, they both try to raise their kids to be as non-judgmental as possible. Snooki says that she wants her children to have fun personalities and know that sometimes their mother and Aunt JWoww like to have some fun too. JWoww admits that her kids probably won't think she's cool, but that doesn't mean they are allowed to judge her. After all, everything she does so far is what allows them to live their current lifestyle. Snooki added that the kids can be embarrassed of them if they must, as long as they don't judge. Punishment The Jersey Shore girls seem like pretty progressive parents, so their choice in discipline shouldn't be a surprise. When it comes to the controversial topic of spanking, that is one thing that Snooki's kids don't have to worry about. Snooki admits that her parents often resorted to such punishment with her and doesn't recall it fondly. She called the experiences terrifying and refuses to ever subject her children to physical discipline. However, she does have her own way of dealing with misbehaving kids. When her kids misbehave, Snooki simply removes herself from the situation. She'll walk away from a child throwing a tantrum until they calm down. According to Snooki, the more you pay attention to bad behavior, the worse it gets. Although it can be hard to resist, not entertaining kids throwing a fit means that they'll finish up their tantrums sooner. Body Positivity JWoww and Snooki are in the public eye a lot, and they're used to being scrutinized about pretty much everything. That extends to their looks as well, but both moms believe in teaching their kids to be positive about their bodies. Snooki shared a moment on social media when her kids questioned her about the stretch marks on her stomach. Instead of avoiding the subject, she decided to turn it into a teachable moment. Snooki told her kids that they're her tiger stripes that she earned by having her children. JWoww had a slightly more embarrassing body-related encounter with her kids when her son Grayson decided to chew on one of her bra inserts. Hey, there is no shortage of teachable moments when you're a parent. These two moms want their kids to grow up being happy and accepting of their bodies, so this is a topic that isn't off limits. Partying we mentioned earlier that Snooki and JWoww believe in teaching their kids not to judge others, but that might have something to do with the fact that these two are on the receiving end of plenty of judgments already. Going back to filming episodes of Jersey Shore meant leaving their families for a period of time. Although both women claimed that they had frequent FaceTimes and cried over missing their kids, they also admitted that they used filming as an opportunity to let loose. They want their kids to know that all parents need to let loose sometimes. It's just that most parents don't have their relaxation broadcast on TV for everyone to see. But there's nothing wrong with leaving the kids home with dad every once in a while so that mom can have an opportunity for some fun. Diet like all moms, Snooki and JWoww want to do what's best for their families. When it comes to food, that means making sure their kids eat a well-balanced diet. JWoww has admitted that she isn't above sneaking fruits and veggies into her kids' diets in the form of smoothies or other innocuous snacks. During her time on Jersey Shore, Snooki had a bit of a reputation for not always thinking before she spoke. Although she admits that she was overindulging in terms of calories during that time, she was lacking any healthy foods in her diet. Apparently, the unhealthy diet made her feel stupid. She credits her current life with eating lots of greens, whole grains, and lean meats. So when it comes to her kids, it's important that they eat only healthy foods as well. Sharing we know that Snooki and Jay Wild's kids spend a lot of time together, but how well do they share? Both moms admit that they have been surprised by how well their children share with one another. They embrace the fact that their kids freely share toys with each other, but that's not a requirement. Snooki claims that while she can get away with making her kids share now, there will come a time when they'll want more autonomy. Right now, it's easier to throw joint parties and let kids play with the same toys, but both parents know it's only temporary. Encouraging your kids to share with one another is great, but they do need to have some autonomy, especially as they get older. Sometimes the kids struggle when it comes to playing nice with one another, but that's just part of growing up. Exercise 
In addition to eating right, Snooki and JWoww definitely know the importance of having a good workout routine. Snooki has talked about the importance of teaching her kids how to exercise, and she's not afraid to lead by example, like when she did planks with her daughter on her back. Hey, moms have to fit their workouts in whenever they get a chance to. Getting their kids outside and moving around is a high priority for both of these busy moms. After spending years partying hard and then having four kids between the two of them, Snooki and JWoww knew that they need to make health and fitness priorities in their lives. Their kids are definitely going to grow up learning the importance of having a healthy and active body. Supportive Snooki and JWoww are a couple of best friends who are trying to raise a new generation of BFFs. Say what you will about these two, but they've maintained a super close friendship for a long time. That's an impressive feat for anyone, especially after the major lifestyle changes that Snooki and JWoww have gone through. These two besties can't say enough good things about each other and expect their kids to follow suit. Being a good friend isn't an option in these households, and it's expected that Giovanna, Lorenzo, Melani, and Grayson will all be friends. After all, how can these two fabulous moms hang out if their kids can't get along together? Each kid having three built-in friends sounds pretty great, and hopefully they continue to get along as they get older. How do you feel about the parenting roles that Snooki and JWoww have for their kids? Tell us what you think in the comment section, then click subscribe for the latest videos from The Taco. Bye for now!